the lifestyle here is great. Uh, lots of outdoor activities. Young people come here, a lot of them, for, because of the, the adventure. If they don't want to go overseas, uh, they come to Cairns because there are a lot of things to do, whitewater rafting, camping, adventure sports. There's no doubt the Cairns secret is out and over the next 20 years, another 120,000 people are forecast to call it home. In the past, it suffered from a perception that it was too far away. But now flights from capital cities can be quicker than getting to work in Sydney or Melbourne. And they won't burn a hole in your hip pocket. Sometimes there's specials where it's only $100 to travel to Melbourne. And that's, you know, in Melbourne you can easily spend $100 on a night out. Cairns, I guess, is one of the better connected regional centres in Australia because of the tourism industry and the fact that we have an international airport. Uh, would give us an advantage over quite a few other centres. In fact, I think we even have more flights in Adelaide. And that's a good thing because apart from tourists, regular flights are needed to carry a huge number of sporting teams to take on Cairns in serious competitions. Teams from the Australian Football and Rugby Leagues are regular visitors, as too are international cricket players and national basketball stars. Locally, there's a huge array of sports on offer for all ages. Golf, soccer, tennis, swimming, the list goes on and on. Not to mention the Spring Racing Carnival, which showcases fashion and fillies. As an international tourist hotspot, Cairns doesn't disappoint when it comes to food. There's a huge array of cuisines to choose from some of the best chefs in Australia. I would have thought that moving, uh, moving up here to the tropics was tantamount to career suicide, but uh, it, has, it certainly hasn't been. When Nick Holloway moved to Queensland's tropical north four years ago, he had no idea his new restaurant and its cutting-edge cooking could catapult him into Australia's gastronomic stratosphere. Gourmet Traveller named us uh, Regional Restaurant of the Year, which was uh, huge, overwhelmingly fantastic. So how many have we got cooked for lunch, Dad? I think 30 so far. Fantastic. I would imagine it would be a pretty busy day today with the races. It's been very easy for us to carve a niche for ourselves and, uh, and stand out above the crowd. The Cairns Regional Council is a keen supporter of new business and can provide useful information to anyone wanting to make the sea change tree change. Mayor Val Shear says everyone is welcome. The region needs professional people like engineers, uh, town planners. Uh, the region also needs people who are chefs, who are working in the hospitality industry, uh, accountants. In almost every area, uh, there are vacancies uh, in, the, in the businesses throughout the region. I just think Cairns is all about lifestyle, and it really doesn't matter whether you've got $10 in the bank or $10 million. You know, the majority of people in Cairns are living in properties that have pools. It's just a totally different place to live. I mean, everyone... Uh, it seems to be happy. The council is also extremely proud of the way it's been able to look after its community. Public facilities like the multi-million dollar Esplanade Lagoon bring families together for water play all year round. Little kids and big kids splash side by side whilst their parents take in the breathtaking surrounds. My kids get to have the same sort of experiences that we had growing up, which is fishing, going to the beach every day, hanging out, just feeling relaxed. There's a sort of certain sense of safety and, uh, and the, the natural beauty. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at a day like today. Cairns is also an important food bowl for North Queensland. Sugarcane features heavily in the landscape, as too do orchards of tropical fruit. Much of this produce ends up at organic markets. In this climate, Almost anything grows, including rare species of tropical plants. I love it up here. I love the, the environment, I love the climate, I love the plants. I just love the laid-back life. It's beautiful. The future for Cairns is looking rosy. Billions of dollars has been committed to infrastructure. Population growth will sustain the buoyant economy for the next two decades. Houses are affordable and industry is thriving. There's no sign that the bubble will burst. 
if people wanted to come to Cairns to work for the regional council, uh, there's lots of assistance available. Uh, that can be things from assistance with travel, relocation expenses. This is home now. I used to live in the city. Um, just, just the impersonal side of the city is something that I don't think I could ever go back to. This is uh, large enough for us to not miss out on anything, but small enough for us to have a real connection with our community. So there's the tropical north as you've never seen it before. A great place to live and work away from the mortgage misery, unemployment and congestion of the big cities. A place where lifestyle is a huge priority, but also a place that nurtures its newcomers and has something for everyone. Head to Tullamarine, get yourself a ticket, fly to Cairns, change your life. No regrets. No regrets.